Hello. Today we will study and analyze the half wave rectifier single phase with resistive load. So today we will, we will learn how to convert from AC to DC using this rectifier and this, rec this rectifier will convert from AC to DC. Okay, the circuit so we have this dial, we have the resistive load and we have the source over here. So, okay, this R, this is the dial. Okay, now this is V input, and here is V output. Cross the uh, resistor, and we have I output. Okay, <coughs> now V input. is V maximum sine omega t okay let me just draw the V input It's a sine wave. So let me get T. This is V. This is V maximum. And this is minus V maximum. And this here is the period is uh, 2 bar. And here is bar. Okay. We will study the fair smooth. Okay, this is the fair smooth. Now, in the first half cycle, when a V input, this is V input, when V input is positive between zero to by, so between in the period of between zero to by we see that V input is positive okay when V input here as we see here is positive so it's gonna be like this positive and this is the negative terminal of the voltage source so the diode will conduct current because here is positive and this is negative so the diode will conduct current so we see this is the circuit in the first half cycle and this is the resistor this is the source it's positive negative and this is, this is the diode and here is the resistor and here is V input and here is V output so in this case as we see we call the, this the voltage source the source is parallel with the resistor so V input equals V output between 0 to by so let us suppose that this is V in, V output. So in the first half cycle, 
the V output equals V input. So like this, the same. And this is V maximum. Okay, this is V maximum here. Okay, now. In the second half cycle, which is mod 2, between by to 2 by, V input is negative. So in this case, you see here, it's negative, this positive. The input so because this here the source change its direction so this negative this positive so this that that diode will not conduct any current so the diode will be became uh, become a uh, open circuit as here so this is v dale and this is v output which equal zero but there is no current so we don't have any voltage across the the resistor okay now that means V output equals zero in this mode, the second mode between by to two by. So we have here so zero volt. Okay. What about the voltage? Let us draw the voltage across the diode. In the first mode, okay, here, in this V diode, is vo the voltage across the diode. So in the first mode, as we see here, this is short circuit. The diode become short circuit. That means the voltage across the diode is zero. Because the voltage on this point is the same as here so the difference is zero so the voltage across the diode is zero so this is the voltage in the first half cycle on the uh, across the diode zero okay the second mode in the second half cycle by to two by we see that the voltage in this time this is negative this connected in the same wire and this is positive here so and the voltage across the resistor is zero because there is no current over here so the voltage across the diode is gonna be Vn in this case which is minus so it's the same so V diode here Vn which is gonna be minus the value is minus so like this and this is minus V maximum okay now let's draw and analyze the current the output current Okay, and we have this half cycle and this the second half cycle. Okay, now in the first period or in the first half cycle, we see that this V in and V output are equal, and so there is current I output. So the out out the uh, the the output current is 
the current in the resistor so I equal V outward of our R there is I output so this mean I output equal V output over R and this depends on the value of R usually R like it's like a hundred ohm this demand actually maybe like 10 kilo ohm this means this is too big and this is gonna be like the uh, the output is not gonna be like too big yeah, okay actually okay let's suppose that the resistor for example a hundred uh, 100 ohm or 10 kilo ohm this demand so this this uh, depend on the, on the actually the application so what I mean here that I output or the, uh, the outward current equal the outward voltage divided by the resistance okay so in the first half cycle there is current equal to uh, the output voltage divided by the resist uh, the resistance so in the first half cycle this is i output in the first half cycle this is the same as v output but divided by resistance so this is the same this is actually this is v output okay and the second half cycle there is no current so the uh, the output current is zero. And this I output equal V output, this one, but divided by the resistance. Okay. So this mean okay in the first half cycle D conducts this mean D is on here in the second half cycle D is off and we have here the signal wave for each uh, quantity like V input here this is V output this is the voltage over the the diode and actually this called here okay we can say now the peak inverse voltage but we can uh, pi v equal v maximum so now Now this is V output. You will now we will calculate the V output DC or V output uh, average. Which equal one over the period over here is two by and we will 
integrate from 0 until 2 by but actually here the integration means the area under the curve but we see that between by to 2 by the area is 0 because here is the signal is 0 so we don't have to integrate uh, from 0 to 2 by so we can only uh, integrate from 0 here to 2 by just to calculate the error over here so just we can integrate between 0 to 2 by and the function of the the output voltage is V maximum sine omega t d omega and t then we can v maximum over 2 by and the uh, integration of sine minus cosine omega t is 2 by ok so and equal v maximum over 2 by minus cosine by minus minus cosine d0 that equals v maximum of 2 by minus of minus 1 minus of minus 1 and equal v x over 2 pi or y so v out of average is equal to So this is uh, V out with DC or V out with average equal equals uh, V maximum over uh, divided by by. Now V output AC or V output RMS equal equal square root of 1 over 2 by integration to 2 2 by here this area and this uh, V maximum sine omega t square d omega t and equal V maximum square 2 by integration of 0 by sine omega t square t omega t all this under square okay so now and if we calculate it the result should be v maximum divided by 2 so this is should be the uh, uh, V output AC or V output RMS.